what's the name of the band? Intelligent Music Project, isn't it? Or something like that. Slightly ironic. So Bulgaria is going to Eurovision 2021 with the ironically named... Are they going to 2021? <laughs> is it? What? It, <laughs> they're so intelligent, they've gone back in time. Um, <laughs> Bulgaria is going to Eurovision 2022 with the Intelligent Music Project and their song Intention. But is it intentionally shit? Let's review Eurovision. So the Intelligent Music Project is going to Turin with intention. Bulgaria comes off a pretty good run of a few years. Years and years ago, they weren't doing great. They struggled to make it to the final. 2007 was the only time they made it. Then Poly Genova sent them on a wonderful streak that has only continued, and they very nearly won a few times. Is it going to happen this year, though? Let's have a little listen to intention. then emily do let me know i'm sure you love it i i don't love it i think the problem is i probably am giving it a bit of a higher rating than it probably deserves because i have a soft spot for bulgaria at eurovision for me like like you were kind of saying they've had such a good streak recently that it's like you want them to keep doing well and the thing that i do like is that it is different to stuff that they've sent before like they've sent kind of so many genres over the past few years you know victoria equinow um equinox you know, equinox um christian with his lovely little ballad and then um yeah and so i'm i'm like that they kind of keep it different but when it comes to the actual song it feels very kind of noughties punk pop um which you know probably should have stayed in the noughties if we're being totally honest you know, it's nice as a bit of nostalgia. You maybe just don't expect, you know, new songs to be coming out quite like that. Um, yeah, I don't mind it. I think for the genre that they're going for, it's a good song. But for me, I just, I'm not sure it's particularly Eurovision. I'm not sure how kind of well it will do. So, yeah. All righty then, James, how about you? Yeah, do you know what? It's a funny one. I don't mind Bulgaria this year, actually. I I don't love it either, though. That's the thing. I think, you know, it's it's intelligence music project, obviously. I think it's like a bit of a young Alice Cooper, you know, the, the big um, the big uh, rock and uh, sort of metal singer. And I, I quite like it in a way. Uh, it's sort of quite catchy, you know, surprisingly catchy in a way. I really like that about it. And it's not just screaming. That's what I thought it would be, because a lot of Eurovision, you know, you tend to have it where it's real sort of like screaming, uh, there to shock almost. And this really doesn't have that. I I think that's a really uh, unique thing in itself, actually. Um, I think as well, it's a good one for the crowd. It's going to get the crowd going on the night. It's going to have that sort of uh, impact, I think, almost, that um, Manskin had last year, because I think it it's really that sort of upbeat, catchy, different sound that Eurovision quite likes. You know, it's quite fresh. It's a bit different. The thing is, though, I don't quite think it's good enough to place very high. That is the issue. I think it will do well. I think it will have the audience support, but I don't think it's enough for it to make its way up the leaderboard, uh, which is a shame. But nevertheless, not great, not awful. I liked it. I think I'm going to be the harshest of us here. And I'm, this is near the bottom of my ranking, as you'll see in a second. I mean, what the hell is this? It, it doesn't know what it is. It's like a quilt that is a patchwork that's been rubbed in a piece of quiche that's then been thrown at a widow. Like, it's just a mess. What the hell is that? It's, it is just, oh, I, I do not get it. I do not get it at all. And it's messy. It's one genre, one second, and it becomes a different song. It feels like they, they wrote about a whole album 
And then we're told, oh, no, you can only pick one song. It's the Eurovision Song Contest, not the Eurovision Album Contest. And we're like, <gasps> shit. And then they're trying to mix the whole album into one song. It's like a medley of just shit. It's awful. It's really, really awful. And I'm so disappointed because Bulgaria is one of my favourite Eurovision countries. They are reliably brilliant. And for the few past few years, they have sent things that are out there and interesting and just they are they've got character and they've shaped real identity for themselves this is out there in the complete wrongest of senses it it does not know what it is they don't know what it is and that this whole uh, social media campaign thing that they've got going on the pr they've got these illusions of it being the greatest thing since sliced bread it's it is really it, it's bizarre the whole i do i really don't understand it and it's such a shame because I think there were the second acts that were picked. That was a really unglamorous thing I did with my eyes. <laughs> um, it was, I think, the second song that was picked. The, no, the second act that was picked, and it was the first song that was revealed this year. And they uh, picked, they announced the act and the song in, like, October, November, December. I mean, what? Why the rush? They, they Surely if they could have waited just a few more months, they would have found maybe a song that could have won Eurovision. Why would you rush out something crap? I don't Get it? It's as if one of the actors, like one a member of the band, has got some IOU with the owner of the the TV station. It really is a strange, strange situation here, and I don't understand it. And as you can tell, I don't really like it. Uh, so Bulgaria is performing seventh in the first semi final. They're immediately after Ukraine, the big favourite, and immediately before the Netherlands. Is that going to Go in their favour? Are they going to qualify? Emily, you first. Normally I would say that wouldn't go in in their favour because obviously kind of the Netherlands is a really strong entry as well and kind of going between that and the favours, you'd think they'd probably get lost if it was a ballad. But because it's not and because it'll stand out compared to those two songs, I'm not sure it'll necessarily have that much kind of impact on it. Um, Yeah, for me, I don't mind the song. It would probably maybe scrape into my final um i've placed it where have i placed it i've placed it at number 25 um in terms of my personal ranking so it would kind of squeak squeak on through um but yeah i kind of i see a lot of the issues kind of with it um but i don't mind it that much um but yeah those are my thoughts yeah i think I, I, as you would have, would have gauged by my rant, I'm really not a fan. Amazingly, there are still two songs that I hate more than this. This is my number 38 of the year. Um, this is the worst thing Bulgaria has sent in quite some time, certainly well, since 2013, probably, um, with Elitsa and Stoyan. And ironically, Stoyan is in this. It's a bit odd because they, Stoyan was in 2007 with um water that was the name of the song that year and that was really good that song i feel like he peaked quite early and he's just been progressively getting worse and going downhill and this is by far the worst thing bulgaria has sent in some time uh there is i really really don't see this qualifying i, I really i don't think it's going to come last in the semi because there'll be some sort of 60 year old watching it will think oh yes i i remember this from my youth i like this sort of mess and then we'll vote for it and the jury might give it a bit of love but it's going to finish like 15th or 16th out of 17. It's really, it's not, it's not going anywhere. This is another one that's dead in the water. I think actually coming last in the semi will probably be Croatia actually, but that's for that's a review for a different time. Um, I, yeah, this is not doing anything for me and it's not going to do anything in Turin either, in my humble opinion. That's what we think. Do let us know what you think. You can like, comment, subscribe. If you do subscribe, Ding a ling, hit the bell. Um, and make sure you come back later for another episode. Just smirking at Ding a ling. Um, and make sure you come back. Join us again for another episode as we go through all of the 40 entries heading to Turin. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. <laughs>